Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to set up Symphonic Orchestra inside Cubase. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Lars Eichstedt and in this tutorial video, I will show you how to set up Symphonic Orchestra inside Cubase. So this video is part of a tutorial series on East-West Bontonite Symphonic Orchestra um, where I show ways and techniques on how to make the sound library sound more realistic. Uh, you found infos uh, about this uh, series on the Facebook page, Virtual Music Tutorials, or you can also browse through the other videos in this YouTube channel. Okay, before we start inside Cubase, uh, make sure that you copy the Play VST, VST plugin VLL into the VST plugins folder of Cubase. Alright, and then start Cubase or restart Cubase so it scans the VST plugins folder once again and um, let's get started. So we go to the devices and go to VST instruments. There we load in the Play uh, VST instrument. In my case, because I have a 64-bit system, I have the X64-bit um, uh, name here as well. So our 32-bit systems there is the X64, um, not there it is. Good, um, so now Cubase asks us to, if you want to create a MIDI track assigned to that plugin, we want to do this because we will need this uh, MIDI tracks. Because now, first of all, um, let's load in a couple of instruments. If you don't really know how this library is organized or uh, how the interface works, you can watch the overview video about this library I did and then uh, continue in this video um, Doing that, you will have a better understanding uh, what we're going to do. Okay, so let's load in instruments, for example, from the, the string sections. Choose um, uh, basses, for example, and uh, add the cellos, and last one, the viola. Okay, now. Uh, we have the problem that we uh, can't um, get access to the other uh, instruments if we would use the instrument um, track here of Play VST. So we have to use MIDI tracks to um, get access to the other instruments with using their respective uh, MIDI channel numbers. So to do this now, we just go ahead and duplicate these two tracks and give them the appropriate um, channel numbers. So here we number two and here number three. You can hover over the MIDI channel number and drag the mouse wheel up or down to uh, change the number. So now we have the connection made between this play instance and our instruments. So uh, what we can do then, double click on the name and rename them so that we better know what is on which track. And then we can uh, make a quick test if everything worked. Close play using the pen tool. And let's see, there are the bases. Let's go down to the viola, uh, no, cellos. We have the cellos and go down to the violas, there. there are the violas. Okay, so that's basically how you set up Symphonic Orchestra inside Cubase. It's actually very, very simple. Um, if you have multiple instances, and you will have multiple instances, um, um, because the 60 MIDI channels are very easily all used and um, so you're very quickly running out of MIDI channels, so you will need other instances. Uh, to do this, it's very, very simple. Um, we just add in another instance. Uh, say cancel here. Um, we will load in, for example, from the percussion, the glockenspiel. Um, 
microcontroller server that has the channel number one. So we will then just duplicate this track, um, rename it to Glockenspiel, Glockenspiel, and give them the channel number one. And then the only thing we have to do it is um, change the output routing from the first play BST uh, to the second one. And then we have the Glockenspiel right there. Okay, um, so the last thing that you can do is set up some quick controls for each track um, using the CC1 and CC11 uh, MIDI controllers. Um, we will use them later on to achieve realism in our compositions. So we can click on quick controls. There are sometimes already some quick controls uh, assigned. So we remove them all, click on the blank field here, go to all CC and choose modulation and second one expression and we do this for the other tracks and then we're ready to go to comp uh, get composing, to start composing. Okay, so um, that's how you set up Symphonic Orchestra inside of Cubase and um, maybe we see us again in uh, some other uh, videos. So thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.